I'm writing a book called Reboot for Resilience. There are tons of ideas in the book, but I want to share six powerful ideas quickly. So here's the Reboot acronym. Rest well, eat well, breathe well. O, the first O is open your heart. The second O is for move well. And then T is time for fun. So very quickly, rest well. The bottom line is you need seven hours per night, and that is seven days a week. In terms of eat well, here's the bottom line, is you have to have 80% of your food being back to basics. What you could pick off a tree, pluck out the ground, how much raw food can you have and a variety of color. Forget about diets and dogmas. The B for breathe well. This is my most favorite technique in my resilience toolbox, and this is the 478 technique. So if I'm trying to prioritize something or I'm getting flustered or overwhelmed, I breathe in to the count of four. I'm obviously doing this quickly now. I hold for seven counts and I breathe out slowly out of my mouth for eight counts. It really reboots your brain. So that's the breathe. The first O is open your heart. So in terms of the stressful time of the year and any time of the year actually, is be curious about why other people are behaving the way they do. Because you may be sitting next to family members of a, a Christmas event and it's frustrating. Just instead of judging, be curious. So I've got a mantra, less judgment, more compassion. So that's the open your heart. The second O is for move well. And when we're on holiday, it's easy to do that. But are you really making sure that you get 20 minutes per day of cardio movement? So if it's a walk, it's a brisk walk. Perhaps you even challenge yourself to do jumping jacks in front of the TV in the morning or do plank or bounce on a trampoline or skip or do anything that's easy. But you need to measure it, so 20 minutes per day. The last letter in our acronym is T for time for fun. So what are you doing to plan for time for fun? In fact, busy times of the year can be quite lonely times of the year. Have you called a mate lately, perhaps a school friend that you haven't spoken to for decades? Have you thought about going to a good movie at five o'clock at night or doodling or going salsa dancing or investigating online how many beautiful free courses there are? So it could be photography to mosaic. But make sure that you prioritize self and you actually plan for time for fun. So if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Enjoy rebooting and choosing one of these six quick tips to make sure that you honor thyself. Socrates said, knowing thyself is the beginning of wisdom. Thank you.